वेलकम टू थ्री डॉटो टीवी आई एम रुचि शर्मा इंडियन क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंज कॉइन डी सी एक्सिस को फाउंडर सुमित गुप्ता हैज टोल्ड कॉइन डेक्स दैट हिस कंपनी हैज एस्टेब्लिश एन इन्वेस्टर प्रोटेक्शन फंड सेइंग दैट इफ अदर एक्सचेंजेस डिड दिस टू इट वुड बी बेटर फॉर द इकोसिस्टम द इन्वेस्टर प्रोटेक्शन फंड इज डिजाइन टू कॉम्पनसेट यूजर्स फॉर लॉसेस इनकर्ड इन एक्सट्रीमली रेयर सिनेरियो सच एज सिक्योरिटी ब्रीचेस एंड एट द स्टार्ट इट विल होल्ड नियरली 6 मिलियन डॉलर्स व्हिच कम्स स्लोली फ्रॉम आर प्रॉफिट्स गुप्ता सेड The decision comes in the wake of the 230 million dollar hack worth nearly 45% of customer funds which were in one wallet suffered by Wazirx last month. After the hack Gupta was one of the first to criticize a work in progress plan suggested by Wazirx to manage the customer funds. Coin DCX will contribute 2% of its brokerage brokerage income to the CIPF annually with plans to revive and potentially increase the fund size over time. Crypto asset manager Coin shares recorded profits after tax of nearly 404 million pounds that is 513.1 million dollars in quarter 2 a considerable bump from 10 million pounds in the equivalent quarter a year ago. The firm also noted a loss of 481.4 million dollars on the fair value of digital assets as the crypto market pulled back from its all time high levels of quarter 1. Bitcoin the largest cryptocurrency slid 12% during quarter 2, its biggest drop since fourth quarter 2022. Once accounted for this discrepancy, uh, Coin shares comprehensive income for the quarter was 32.6 million dollars, almost five times the figure for quarter 2 2023 of 6.3 million dollars. Coinbase's total assets under management also doubled from 2.7 billion dollars to 5.3 billion dollars according to an earnings announcement on Tuesday. Nexera, a blockchain infrastructure protocol that focuses on tokenization, has suffered an exploit with 1.8 billion dollars being stolen according to crypto security firm Cyverse. The company formerly known as Alliance Block posted an announcement on X saying it was investigating an exploit. The NXRA token contract has been paused and trading has been halted on decentralized exchanges. Nexera said it is in communication with centralized exchanges with the purpose of halting trading. The NXRA token is trading at $0.036 down 40% since the exploit occurred according to CoinMarketCap. Data from Zapper shows that the attacker currently holds 32.5 million NXRA tokens worth $1.23 million and 555,000 worth of Tether's USDT stablecoin. Payments processor Stripe has joined forces with crypto exchange Bitstamp to accelerate its expansion in the European Union by making fiat to crypto on-ramp easier for users, the company's announced on Wednesday. The fintech firm offers a customizable widget that developers can embed into their product to allow conversion of crypto and instant settlement of transactions. It currently supports multiple uh, cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Stellar and USD coin. The widget won't be available to UK customers the two companies said in a press release. Solana, a cryptocurrency, has shown significant resilience despite market volatility with its price dropping by 36% against Ethereum. Despite this Solana managed to rebound 35% to reach $144 while Ethereum managed a modest 15% increase to peak at $2463. The SOL ETH parity surge which measures the value of one Solana against one ETH reached an all-time high of 0.0595. This performance is attributed to Solana's robust network characteristics including rapid transaction speeds and minimal fees which have attracted crypto investors. Meme coins on the Solana ecosystem surged over 30% in the past 24 hours leading the crypto market as Solana's token SOL recovered from earlier losses. Cat themed tokens like Popcat and Dogfat rose up by 25% before slightly retreating while MUMU and Cat Dog gained 30%. In contrast, major meme coins on other blockchains such as Doge and Pepe fell by up to 5%, indicating a preference for Solana-based tokens. Optimism surrounds the Solana ecosystem with the community anticipating a widely expected SOL ETF. Binance has released its recent POR figures highlighting its commitment to covering user assets on a one is to one basis ensuring liquidity and user confidence. The platform currently holds 62.8 trillion Shiba Inu tokens with a coverage ratio of 102.57%. Binance's XRP reserves have risen by 2.8% since the last report, reaching approximately 2.95 billion tokens, indicating a 2.8% increase since the last report. 
This escalation exemplifies Binance's strategy to strengthen its asset repository and overall financial stability. Bitcoin and Ethereum remain central to Binance's asset management strategy, with the exchange upping its Bitcoin reserves to over 645,000 BTC, equivalent to $36.8 billion, and Ethereum's holding at around 4.85 million ETH, roughly $12.2 billion. Binance has expanded its support from 9 to 31 cryptocurrencies since its POR initiative in 2022, including Dogecoin, The Graph, Intune Coin, and Chromia, showcasing its adaptability and aim to cater to a wider range of crypto investors. Jump trading, a market maker that contributed to the recent market correction, is still selling Ether, although the market may be approaching a bottom. The company sold 11,501 Ether tokens worth over $29 million and redeemed another $48 million worth of Ether in preparation for selling. However, the selling pressure from jump trading is coming to an end with only 21,394 wrapped Lido staked ETH worth $63 million available. The current crypto market crash, which tanked Ether to a five-month low, is being directly linked to aggressive selling by jump trading, according to QCP Group, one of Singapore's first digital asset trading groups. Five top market makers have sold a total of 130,000 Ether worth over $290 million, while Ether's price crashed from $3,000 to below $2,200. Ethereum is still down over 23% on the weekly chart but has staged a relief rally rising 3.29% on the daily chart to trade at $2,533. Morgan Stanley is set to begin offering spot Bitcoin ETFs to select clients to of over 15,000 financial advisors starting today. This development is a significant first for the firm and a sign of the increased prevalence of Bitcoin investment products. The selected clients will gain exposure to BlackRock's iShare Bitcoin Trust and the Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund uh, FBTC. The decision was made in response to client demand and an evolving marketplace showing a shift in perspective. While Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Bank of America and Wells Fargo are still cautious banks in the US, this may change with increased demand. Ubisoft is partnering with Arbitrum and Sequence to launch a new Web3 game based on the Netflix series Captain Laserhawk. The game titled Captain Laserhawk, the game will expand the universe of the Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix series featuring characters from popular franchises like Assassin's Creed and Rayman. Arbitrum will provide the essential blockchain infrastructure, while uh, Sequence will contribute blockchain tools to integrate Web3 features into the game. Ubisoft will oversee the creation of the title, incorporating blockchain elements to give players more influence over the game's narrative and development, promoting a more community-driven experience. That's all this bulletin for now. This is Mirchi Sharma signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3.tv and for more information stories, log on to our website www3 or scan the QR code.